Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Go Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Fortite and today we are taking a look at the Montreal Canadiens superstar goaltender netminder Carey Price. And this seems like the end for Carey Price. We've made videos about this in the past. What's the future of Carey Price? He's been very quiet about this here for the last six to eight months. He was in the NHL's Players Assistance Program. And uh, it sounds like this is the end for Carey Price. And, um, you know, it's it's definitely a tough pill to swallow. I think a lot of people around the NHL, including even rival fan bases, uh, this is a tough thing to hear. Carey Price is a guy that is a really, you know, in his heyday in 2015, 2016, was really unstoppable. Uh, best goaltender in the NHL. And here today in 2023, just... How the mighty have fallen, and that's kind of what we're looking at with Price. So this is from uh, Angela Price, and she says that Carrie Price and his family will be moving back to BC after the season. The family is also setting, uh, selling their home here in Montreal. It looks like it's done for Carrie Price. So um, you know, it's a it seems like a bygone era from the Vancouver from the Montreal Canadiens gone. Um, they celebrated the PK Subban night the other night with him and Carey Price was in attendance, and I think that's where this news came out from. Um, you know, Max Pacioretty, Thomas Placanix, um, you know, that was a really interesting time in Vancouver. They had some very interesting players, David DeHarnay, um, Brandon Prost, right? They had some really interesting characters there in Vancouver, in Montreal. Brandon Gallagher, who's still there today. <clears throat> uh, this is this is a tough pill to swallow for for Habs fans, I would assume. Uh, this is a guy that's really been the face of that franchise for many many years, and um, it sounds like he is done. And this is obviously not completely shocking news, and apparently it's been already out there before. Um, but obviously, it's something that. You know, it, it, it does suck, and I was really hoping to see him return one last time in, in you know, the Habs sweater, just to skate out there one more time and kind of say his goodbyes, but the reality is, you know, that, that doesn't, oh, that doesn't usually happen, and that's, you know, that's kind of the fairy tale ending that everybody wants, and it doesn't usually work out that way, and that's why the guys that are able to go out on their terms it is such a big deal. And that's why when I look at guys like, um, you know, a Marty Brodeur or a Henrik Lundqvist or a Patrick Eliash, um, you know, those types of guys, it's really a, a different animal. And, um, you know, it means so much more when they are able to do that. But here for Carey Price, unfortunately, he's one of the, one of part of the, the statistic, unfortunately, which is he didn't get to go out his way. And um, and he never ended up winning that Stanley Cup. And I think he's still really burned from that 2020 run um, or that 2021 run when they went to the Stanley Cup final against Tampa. I think I think that really hurt him in so many more ways than one. And I think that, you know, at that time, that was really the nail in the coffin for Carey Price. And he was him and Shea Weber both were going through so many injuries they they fought to the death for that team in 2021. So shout out to, to Shea Weber as well because, listen, looking back at that trade, I mean, that soup and trade it was so hated for so long. And Shea Weber had to do so much to make that trade worth it, and he did. And Shea Weber's – and listen, Mark Bergevin takes a lot of heat for some of the weird trades he made. That was one, looking back, that actually turned out to be a pretty good trade for the Habs. And, um, so at the end of the day, you know, this is Carey Price's video. I assume he'll get his number retired in Montreal. Um, no guarantees, but I would assume with just at what a level he was at, but it will be an interesting conversation because, you know, there's a lot of numbers. There's a lot of numbers in the rafters there in Montreal. You know, is Carey Price's number going to be up there? I don't know. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of Carey Price? Uh, basically heading to British Columbia and will no longer be a member of the Montreal Canadiens. We kind of had this in the back of our heads, but it has now been made official here by his wife. And that seems to be the end of the road for Carey Price in Montreal. Obviously, best wishes, best wishes 
Carrie Price. He's got a beautiful family at home to take care of and raise now. And, um, and I wish him the best of luck moving forward. Guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Peace.